Hi everybody! Welcome to week two of our English 1010 online course. Whew! We made it! <laughs> we are in week two and we are rolling. I have already started grading your assignments from last week and I'm having a lot of fun giving you guys comments, seeing how everybody is doing with their annotations. Um, I've been really impressed with how much energy you guys are bringing to the class already. So air fives, good job. Um, yeah, keep up the good work. I've been getting great emails from you guys, uh, great action on some of the discussion posts, the ask and answer boards, um, at least in section 11, you guys are on fire. Um, second 17, get in there. If you have questions, put them on the ask and answer board. Okay. I think that was it for my general high fives. <sighs> Week two, y'all, we're coming into the drafting portion for our summary papers. So this week we did have a little bit of warm up with the comic, the visual summary assignment that was intended just to help you guys conceptualize what you were going to write about in your paper. The rest of this week is going to be devoted to drafting, conferencing, and peer review. And then your summary paper is due when? If you said Sunday night at midnight, you're right on top of things. So this is going to be our main goal this week is drafting our summary papers and getting feedback and giving feedback. We'll talk a little bit more more about that in a second. In this weekly overview video, I want to do a couple things. First of all, I want to talk about the videos. Secondly, I want to talk about the assignments that are coming due this week. And then lastly, I have a few announcements and the chat check-in prompt for this week. So hold on to your butts and let's get going. I'm going to turn us over to the Canvas view and we'll get right into it. Okay, so I wanted to start here um, right from the home page just to kind of help everyone get oriented and walk through where we're going. Um, again, we're still in project one. We're in the second week of our summary project. We went through all of these assignments already for week one, and now we're starting week two. So these are the assignments that we're going to be talking a little bit about in this video, but I just wanted to show you guys that everything that's assigned for a particular week is on the home page listed in chronological order right underneath the overview. So for week two, the very first assignment was the comic and then the chat check-in this is just sort of an extra reading if you want to do a little bit of enrichment reading this week. And then we've got our peer review discussion, an extra credit assignment if you're interested, and the final draft which is due on Sunday. So just a quick review. I have some questions about where to find the text that we're summarizing for this project and just making sure everybody's super, super, super clear it's linked right here under the project one assignment description. So that's from last week. This week, let's go into our overview page. We've got some things to watch, some things to read, some things to write this week. Um, definitely want to watch the week two instructor video, which you're already doing, which I need to apologize for. I have it here listed as your video to watch Monday which was yesterday. I really apologize for that. I got several emails from very conscientious students saying, um, Dr. Brody, what is happening? I apologize. I, during the winter semester, I made and recorded all of my videos on Tuesdays and posted them on Tuesdays. So again, that's my bad. Um, I will be posting them by Sunday at the latest from here on out. Um, you can definitely watch the summary mini lesson though, because that's already linked here. Today, 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 this week, every day this week, we're reviewing that text, your ability to can even. Um, and we'll be reading classmates' summary drafts, we'll be reading feedback that we get on our papers. In terms of writing, um, we've got our project builder number one, the visual summary. 
chat check into summary rough draft. So you want to aim to have that written sometime by midweek, like tomorrow, Thursday-ish, because we want to be able to post our rough drafts to the peer review discussion page. And we'll talk more about that in a second because I want to walk you guys through the steps for that. The other thing I wanted to say was um, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, I will be holding open office hours on Zoom. If you want to talk about your rough drafts, if you want to have a, a group conference with me, depending on how many people are interested and want to you know, show up at these office hours, I may be able to talk one-on-one -on -one if we have a small enough number, or if we have a big number of people, I'll be talking to you guys in groups. But I just wanted to make that available to you that if you have questions about your rough draft, we can meet during my office hours. That'll be tomorrow from 2 to 3 and Thursday from 2 to 3 on Zoom. So I'll be posting the Zoom link um, after I post this announcement with this video. Okay, so just heading down here to the videos for this week. The summary mini lesson. This is a great refresher if you haven't thought about summarizing in a while. And also if you're like, wait, summary, what? This is a really good sort of fast one-two punch to kind of get you oriented to summary. Um, and because we're working on our first drafts, our rough drafts, I also have a mini lesson here about shitty first drafts. And I take that term from a wonderful chapter by Anne Lamott, that enrichment reading that I was showing you guys a second ago. Um, she has this great TED talk that I actually have linked within the video. So it's a very meta and it's just a lot of fun. So you can watch her talk. You can watch her talk within this mini lesson video where I am going to talk to you guys about multiple drafts and how we will be using multiple drafts this semester. Later on in the week, I have this peer review mini lesson. Um, you may need to run Adobe Flash because I recorded this on a different um, platform than I have been using. I've been using YouTube for a while now. But this is an oldie but a goodie. It's got all the basics that you need to know for how I expect us to do peer review in this class. Towards the end of the week, there's a proofreading mini lesson with like 12 common errors to look for in your papers. It's so good. This lady is so smart. Also, we've got our weekly grammar vid, and that's gonna be important if you're gonna shoot for that extra credit assignment. And this little vid, which is about how to read faster. So just some little tidbits to kind of help you round out your tips and tools and tricks that you have for this class. Okay, so let's look at these assignments in a little bit more detail. Just want to talk you guys through some of the, I don't know, maybe tricky parts or frequently asked questions. Um, the first thing to look at is our discussion board for the rough draft. So what you're going to do when you have your rough draft, save it as a file that you can upload and what you're going to do is you're going to attach it to this discussion. I'll show you how in a minute, but I'm just going to talk through the um, instructions here. Definitely name your discussion post with your name so that we know who's, who's doing what. Then, once you post your draft as a file attachment, then pick two classmates to give feedback to. So you're going to post your draft, and then you're going to read two classmates' drafts, okay? Try to give priority to people who don't have feedback on their um, posts yet. Now, once you watch the peer review video, this third instruction is going to make so much more sense. Address all three orders of concern and pose at least one question. So you're gonna address, and again, once you watch the peer review video, this is gonna make sense. 
you're going to address higher order concerns, middle order concerns, and lower order concerns, and you're going to pose one question to both classmates, okay? So what I'll be looking for when I'm grading this is that, first of all, you've posted your draft. I'll be making sure that you have given feedback to at least two classmates. So there's going to be three total posts from you that I will grade. And then when I'm looking at how you respond and how you're giving feedback, I'm going to make sure that you are making good use of those three orders of concern in the one question. So this assignment is worth 50 points total only to sort of demonstrate how important the process of peer review is to our writing. Not just like shitty peer review where you like kind of like write like looks good, but really thoughtful reading and responding and giving actually good feedback to each other. That's worth a lot of points in my class. So how do you do it? Basically, oh, check it out. Some people already did it. That's cool. All right. So as you can see, some of your classmates have already posted their summary drafts, um, getting into some good feedback here. But I'm going to just walk you guys through it in case you're not one of these go-getters who's already on top of things. You hit reply, and then what you see is that like an HTML dialog box gets pulled up. And so what you do when you want to attach your draft is you just hit this attach button and then you can browse your computer, select your file, and upload it. And then you just hit post reply. Then you can just reply to each other using the reply button to individual folks' posts. Does that make sense? Hit me up with a question if you need clarification on that process. Okay, anything else I was going to talk about? Oh yeah, the screencast. Okay, so for each project, I'm tossing out this opportunity for extra credit. I am going to give you guys a chance to earn extra credit for every project by basically recording yourself doing proofreading on your paper. So this is always going to be due the Saturday before the project is due which should be like the sweet spot for when you're really starting to look at and focus on those lower order concerns or the like grammar proofreading stuff. And you're already going to have your focus for this because what I'm asking is for you to take up one of the concerns from one of the grammar videos of, in the project. So, so far in project one, we've had a grammar video about sentence structure. And then this week's grammar vid is about comma usage. So those are two of the kind of big sentence -y things. They're very common things that often need to be corrected in proofreading. So here's how we're going to do it. The videos, sure, they're informative. But I want to spice things up, and I'm giving you this opportunity. I'm going to give you five points extra credit for each grammar trick you apply. So if you just correct all your sentence structures or mac, miss, ugh, mix it up, remix your sentence structures, that's five points. If you do sentence structures and comma usage, that's 10 points. So what do you do? This assignment asks you to watch the grammar vids for this project. There's at least two per project. Then pick a grammar issue to target in your own draft of the paper. So again, if you want to do sentence structure, you're going to make this screencast about you going through your own paper, fixing up your sentences to make sure you have a variety of sentence types in your summary paper. And how are we going to see this? Well, you're going to create a screencast of yourself. It's basically exactly what I'm doing right now with this video is that you can see my computer screen and I can talk you through, I can highlight things as I go through. This is exactly what you're going to do. But instead of seeing the Canvas site, you're going to pull up your paper and talk through the changes you're making while you're making them. So you're going to look for the issues from the grammar vid that need to be revised, and you're going to revise them as you record yourself 
changing things in your paper. And you're going to talk through as you revise why they need to be changed. So it's basically you narrating yourself revising your paper. It's going to be so much fun. I'm really excited about it. Your screencast should be no longer than five minutes. And if you are like, I, Nicole, I have no idea what's a screencast. How do I make one? There's a couple of tutorials here for how to make an easy screencast. And I tried to find ones that would help you use some of the free screencasting software that's available on the internet. So hopefully that's a fun and cool little extra credit assignment. If you're up for it, do it. Why not? I mean, like, give it a shot. If you are feeling, if that's like stressful and you're like, Nicole, I can't even, don't even, don't worry about it. It's extra credit. So it's not going to affect your grade adversely if you don't do a screencast and it can only help you if you do. Okay. I'm going to pull us back to the full view and talk to you about some announcements and then we'll wrap up this video. All right. So I've got three announcements for you here to wrap up this video. Announcement number one is you will be noticing announcements and communications from two very special people, one for each section, and they are your peer advisors and your tutors in this class. They are Tyler and Shuhel, and they are amazing. I've already been chatting with them about some of the stuff that they're going to be doing to help connect with you and walk you through taking this class online and just, you know, taking English 1010 in general. So watch out for their announcements where they introduce themselves and uh, give you some contact information, email addresses. Um, we've been talking about setting up chats. Their peer tutors are going to be active on the ask and answer boards so you can ask them questions there. So keep your eyes peeled for the intro announcements from Tyler and Shuhel. They each have a section so you'll either get an announcement from one or the other. Okay that was announcement one. Announcement two, don't forget I will be host hosting open office hours on Zoom tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock both days. So if you want to stop by, I'll be posting the Zoom link in the announcements. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Make sure you hop on. I will only be on Zoom for those two hours. So just kind of keep that in the back of your brain and know that even though you you could click on the Zoom link, if I'm not there, I won't be able to like let you into the meeting. So... Yeah, just heads up. I'm looking forward to seeing some of you guys um, and talking about your drafts of your summaries. Third thing, I have gotten a really good question multiple times now via email, so I'm just going to plop it in here to the announcements. Um, the thing is that your reflection letter is not due with your rough draft. It's due with your final draft. So you don't have to submit a reflection letter with your rough draft, but wait until Sunday and turn it in with your final draft of your summary paper. Okay, so now here we are at the end of the video and I'm gonna give you your chat check-in number two prompt. So this will be a prompt that I give you and I'm going to have you guys go over to the course chat and respond to it in the chat. So the question is, what is something about writing that you really love or that you really loathe? So you either probably feel like, I like writing, or you probably feel like, I am not a writer. And either way, that's totally fine. But tell us, what is something that you love about writing and why? And what is something that you don't love about writing and why? You could say one of each. I mean, you know, sometimes it's a love-hate kind of thing. You know what I mean? So what do you love about writing? What do you loathe about writing and why? That's your chat check-in number two prompt. And I will see you guys next week. Bye, everybody.